Hi everyone, Scrappy Kathy here. Uh, welcome to my uh, crazy channel. Um, today, <laughs> this video, I have no idea where I'm headed. Um, I am doing a couple things. Uh, first of all, I'm using um, the Monday sketch, day 14 sketch for um, 30 Days of Sketches with Christy's Beautiful Life. And it has um, uh, hexagons and uh, like a hexagon stamp. I have a hexagon stamp and I cannot find it. I found the package that it's supposed to be in and I cannot find the other. I have a solid, one that makes solid hexagons, but what I was looking for was one that makes outlines. So I thought, okay, I have a stencil. I can dip it in some medium and then put it, press it down. And I'm thinking that'll work. So that's what I'm going to use. And I decided instead of going with a black, I mean, with a white background to do this paper. Oh, oh I'm also using my... <laughs> Uh, before I get too much into detail about what I'm going to do, I'll tell you what I'm using. I'm using my Scrap Backwards kit for March, and I'm doing the last surprise challenge in the Scrap Backwards Cyber Crop from this weekend that involves actually scrapping backwards with no idea in mind what story you're going to tell or what um, uh, photo you're going to use. So my finished layout is going to have this mat. It's a, about a three and a quarter by four and a quarter mat, so it'll fit a three by four photo. And I think I'm going to orient it landscape, but I may do portrait. We'll see how it, things work out with the mixed media and the chevron, or the, uh, the chevrons, listen to me, <clears throat> the hexagons that I cut out. All right, I punched hexagons from three pattern papers, four, I guess, the red grid, the um, teal grid, this kind of yellow um, honeycomb-ish sort of look, and this navy blue, which has these map circles on the other side. And this yellow paper on the other side of it, it's a Webster's Pages paper, Strawberry Fields, and on the other side, it has had this beautiful floral um, hot air balloon. And hot air balloon just showed up as a prompt, as a um, uh, the 39th temporary bonus point on Calvin Ball. So I fussy cut that out and I know that I'm gonna use it. I have a few flares over here. So I'm going to put this aside. This is going to be another one where I don't go through the, um, the, the whole, well, I don't go through the whole list of Calvin Ball points. I'm going to just back this right now before I forget. And I'm going to put a few on here, but I think this is one that I'm not really, um, I don't need for this one to have every point possible on it. So I, I, I surprisingly on the one I did this morning, I, I was only missing about five possible points and, and I was just kind of pull, putting on the ones that I remembered. Anyway, the mixed media on this page has these kind of splotches, the stamping, and the splatters. Splotch-wise, I'm kind of hesitant 
to, to even do that. Although I might just go ahead and do a little packaging technique with, and I'm, I'm gonna go with some yellow. Um, what this is, is the uh, Dina Wakely gloss spray. And I just kind of want it in a couple areas. Kind of go like, I have no idea. I don't want this paper to get too wet because it isn't really, um, is it's not heavy cardstock it's kind of a and i kind of turn that around that way now that's not great it did kind of what you might expect of yellow and green and uh, blue it um it formed green <laughs> and I'm gonna wipe this out. And call that part done. And I'm gonna blot up. Let's see. This so that there are not any residual wet spots there. Okay, so we have our splotches. They're not pretty, actually, but we'll see. Now, I'm gonna use, and that color was lemon. I'm gonna use this, which is called marine, and I'm going to put it down I should maybe have just sprayed it. So let me kind of, I'm gonna kind of spread it around. Okay. Now here I'm, I'm kind of gonna do an area sort of adjacent to this and then another one adjacent to this kind of down in this, in this area. And I'm gonna get okay, that's not doing at all what I had wanted it to do. And I may end up doing something else entirely with this. See, it's really not uh, not giving us much. So, I'm going to actually spray it. I think when I sprayed it a while ago and tested it on the back of the sketch, you see it came out nice like that. Um, but that's not what I'm seeing right now. So, I'm going to get that down in there. And I don't mind going over this same area because it just kind of adds to the mixed media look. I did not want this frame, but you know, I could just call it a frame because I get points for a frame, right? And I could just repeat that a time or two. Let's This is not um, picking it up, and it's actually beginning to dry, but I can maybe do that, and I can do that. It's not at all like the sketch, but... 
I don't hate it. Okay, I'm gonna put this off to the side and I'll deal with that later. And it's, the good news is that it's dry-ish. Now, also, the splatters in the original are on, are shown to go over the photos and the, the um, hexagons, and they're black. And I'm actually going to do white splatters before I put those things on. And this white will do a couple things. I think it, it's going to look nicer with the, uh, the hexagons that I've picked out and It'll look, uh, not knowing what's in my kit, I think it might, um, it might be good. So let me get my um, paper towel. Okay, that pretty much left it all on there. Okay. Now, I'm going to say that instead of this leaf sprig, I'm going to use this um, hot air balloon, and I'll find something as a feature to go down in this corner other than the uh, hot air balloon. So let me just kind of dry fit it by putting it there. And then I'm gonna take one of the large um, one of the larger hexagons and put it there. Now I've got um, Quite a few of the yellow ones, and some of the yellow ones have blue ones either behind them or, or above them. So I'm going to kind of do this, um, and I want to do a red. Maybe right in there. This red... Uh, paper is probably some of the favorite, my favorite paper that I have in that kit. I'm going to go ahead and put this down. Okay. Now, the photo... Could maybe go right here and if it did there's room here for some embellishing to stay inside that cluster but maybe let's see If I could do it out here, then we kind of eliminate some of this uh, frame showing, but it also covers that up. So maybe not going to want to be inclined to do that. So I think I'm going to say that the photo, and I'm, I'm putting it here because I know that this is a very, you know, kind of a vertical look, and I've already gone off the vertical. I'd like to keep it as, as vertical as I can. And um, if I do this, kind of tucking it under, there's no adhesive there, so my photo can, can go under there too. I'm gonna go ahead and move it over because 
I want this sh to show. Now I can put some embellishments there. For example, this butterfly and that takes away that thing which doesn't look parallel to anything. So I'm gonna Let's see what other ones I have here. How about if I do this one? Here. And have it surrounded by both teal ones. Um, this, this one doesn't have to overlap as much. And I can take this and start it kind of going down. And I'll use this red one. I think I want the red gathered up there as much as possible, right? Um, There, and then I've got a couple more, like I've got an extra one of these kind of for each end, and I can put this one right there, or do I want it maybe just more, more over to here? Let's do it that way. And then this one could actually, uh, how about, I'm gonna use a this uh, heart cut file and I could have that overlapping the photo and then I could have it held down by this guy. This is not, parallel, and I don't know if it's the top hexagon or the bottom one that isn't, isn't straight, but let me fix it. That is parallel to that, and now this Kind of go there, and now I can place that so that it's straight. Okay, got that. Um, I can do this held down by this. That makes me happy. So I'm going to do this, and then I'll... But this is kind of in line with that, and I don't... That's not my my thing so let's move this further up and then we'll put that there and again i none of this is is glued down so i can slide the photo whatever it turns out to be right in there okay so see I, i'm actually not hating that mixed media background I'm, um, I'm happy with it so far. I've got this stapled piece of ribbon, which um, I kind of picked, um, long story, I guess. I found a a con my container of ribbon, and as I was looking for some other ribbon, I this piece, which was connected to, um, it's connected to a seashell, and I honestly don't know where that seashell came from, but if we ever get a seashell prompt, or if I pick, I have some kind of nautical, seagoing sort of travel stuff in my if that ends up on there, it may end up on this layout. 
Now, the thing I thought I might bring in for this area down here is this globe, and it is a layered um, dimensional sticker. And I'm trying to get it peeled up, the bottom part of it peeled up. And I could, I'll tell you what I can do. I can stick that down and then the it can slide a little bit under the photo. And the photo can go right there. The colors work, I think. Okay, so that, and then of course with Calvin ball points, I'm gonna have some spots there. I have a, let's see, I have a couple of these. That are abstract and I thought I might just kind of put them, let's see, I could do one there, but I don't really want anything overlapping because I need, I'm gonna have to have a very special kind of photo if it doesn't mind intrusion from there and there and there. Um, I, I'm gonna skip that for now. I'm gonna put the backing on it and I'm not gonna worry a whole lot about that stuff just yet. I do kind of like this butterfly, but might it be a bit too much? It could be, uh, if I keep it like this and have everything inside of these lines, then I'm kind of in keeping with that vertical design. Um, I don't, know that I'm going to be able to do that, but we shall see. Um, I may be better off taking a puffy sticker butterfly that maybe would look cute right on there. And I'm going to do my Calvin ball points not for the sake of getting points, but for the sake of making a nice page, which sometimes those things are at odds. But let's look here and see. Um, I like the this Create Adventure strip right here, which could maybe, I could put it right there, and then I can put this on a foam dot or a piece of foam, some kind of foam, it, that's too big, a piece of foam, so I need to pull out my big Big Mama foam thing. I'm not seeing it. I have put it away somewhere. So I will just cut one of these in half. So I like the Create Adventure there. I like in the, the piece that says, enjoy the little things and enjoy each moment. And I, I kind of like that idea. Um, I think I'm gonna try to find a way to get this on there. And I'll put a little bit of foam behind it. And then we'll see where it might want to go. Uh, 
How about right there? Okay. That's cool. That may be all I use from this one. So I'll toss it on the floor. I've got this one that says, enjoy, escape, go wild. I don't know if I'm gonna have a travel photo. I certainly have lots of them that I could choose from. There's a thing here that says road trip. That would restrict me to our road trip photos, but that's okay with me. Um, so let me see what else I've got before I decide on that page. This page just has a few things. And one thing it has is this tag that is a, um, it has wood grain on the end and wood grain gets me a, a point. I think that was just added today. And what I'm gonna do is cut a bit off the label there, or the tag, and maybe put it right here. And then I'll layer something else on top of that. So that uses that. I've got this Metro Day Pass and this um, radio we used to have um, kind of an old-fashioned transistor radio that we had at the at our RV. So an RV page, this would make a lot of sense. Um, so I'll keep that in mind. Here is a page that has, okay, here's got a circle that says here. And... I'm gonna put it on a foam dot and look like the arrow is pointing to the map of the world. And I'm gonna overlay a circle on top of my hexagon. And I'm gonna unapologetically do so. <laughs> um, let's see, airplane. I know what I can do with the airplane. And you're gonna laugh because I'm keep, I am keep trying to get rid of these, um, these lines. I just had a little skinny piece of foam that I tossed somewhere and then I can't find it. That's not a problem because I have lots of little skinny pieces of foam. So I'm going to put one behind the airplane. And I'm going to put the airplane here and then I can layer some things like if I find a uh, find or want to cut a cloud shape. then it can go right there. So now we've gotten rid of the top of that frame. I don't mind if we leave that, but it would be cool if it didn't look like I had cut a box or a stenciled a box, which I did, but I don't have to admit it. Um, I've got these banners, which I like and want to use on a page, but what's really appealing to me here is travel buddies and adventurers. So that would mean that I would have a photo of myself with John. And I'm, I'm not, that green color doesn't quite thrill me about this, but I do like this life is a journey. And I think that's a good general sentiment for any type of page. And 
Now where do I put it? I could say life is a journey, create adventure. I can overlap it here with that um, hexagon. So there. And let's see if there's anything else on here that I want to use. There's a thing that says journey together, which again is good. I need a camera, but I don't really want it to be this sticker, but I can fussy cut it. and maybe use it on one of the non-teal colored uh, hexagons. So, put that down, grab this. And what I'm gonna do when I finish this layout, I'm gonna go pick out the photo and you can uh, check out uh, my Instagram and my, um, and, and it'll be on the Scrap Backwards um, Facebook page, my Scrappy Kathy Instagram and my Scrappy Kathy Facebook to see what photo I chose and how the layout turned out. So that could go there or it could go here or it could go on the red. Let's put it on the red. It's too big to put there. I can kind of have it hanging a little bit off the red. Um, let's see, I had a, I have a cloud punch. So let me punch a piece of paper. I have some paper here that I was using for uh, cutting out some other images, other types of images. Okay, and I need a, uh... okay, so my, and I've, I'm like gonna have all the grid papers <laughs> I own on here. So even this cloud is gonna be a grid paper. So let's do the cloud right there. I will find a, oh, I had a cloud here. I will find a rainbow. I think I have rainbows in here. I'm not seeing rainbows. I must have the rainbows somewhere else. Ooh, that's a pineapple. It's a flare with pineapple. I gotta use that. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it maybe, oh, there's a washi tape pineapple. I already have flare, so let me use the washi tape pineapple. That gets me a uh, washi tape and a pineapple point. Um, let's see, where do I put this? I kind of... <laughs> picking up adhesive things. I'm gonna maybe, I'll just have it kind of peeking out of there. I like the little yellow Mickey ears. And if it's a, if it ends up being a travel page or a, a page that's kind of a, and ends up being a, a re retrospective or a, a memory jogger about wonderful travels that we had, then certainly 
trips to Disney with James when we took him to spring training and Kissimmee to see the Astros, which we did every spring break at school. Um, and then all the fun that we had taking Ava when uh, her dad would have business trips in, in Orlando. So I'm going to that back in the right place and I'm gonna put a Mickey ears put the mouse ears where like right there enjoy the little things and enjoy each moment that's perfect now right here I'm gonna fussy cut this really heavy cardstock sticker that has a line of um, dinosaurs. And I guess the joke there is, are we the dinosaurs? <laughs> are we the dinosaurs involved in this scenario? Um, why not here? I'm gonna get this little half of a foam dot. These foam dots are really thick. And sometimes if you have a small one, it leaves the, the piece a little bit unbalanced. Okay, I'm not gonna do any stamping. I've done stenciling. Um, let's see. Wood veneer, I want something small and something small that's kind of got a tropical leaf motif to it. Seems appropriate for down in here. doesn't seem like it would junk it up too much. And I have a um, another cloud with a unicorn. I'm just going to kind of put it back here because that's that can be symbolic of any number of things. I've got a um, cactus with flowers the same red as these flowers. And I kind of like that. And we um, love Joshua Tree um, National Park. And so there are all kinds of cactuses there, and we've spent quite a lot of time when we went there. So I'm gonna just throw a cactus on there because it's pretty and the color scheme works. I have a, I have an avocado here that's already cut out. Maybe the avocado goes here by the, the Mickey ears or maybe by the camera. There we go. And I have a shamrock I saw in here. It's kind of big, so I may And it's kind of an odd color scheme. So what I'm going to do is take this tag. I'm going to cut it across and cut one of the small shamrocks out of the tag. And since, 
at this point, most of the um, I guess I the notion of of travels with John are you know trips that have already been taken, and we also had some dreams of some trips that we didn't get to take, so those become my uh, bucket list items to kind of go to those places and and uh, imagine being there with John. Okay, I like this little guy maybe right there. Why not? Why the heck not? And, um, let's see. I have a camera. Ah, here's my rainbow. Here's my little rainbow shape. And I'm going to put it on. Here. And maybe kind of. I'm going to put on some foam and tuck it back there, and I can put a, a jewel or something there. Hedgehog. I think I have a bucket in here that has some small hedgehogs. Oh, there's one that can look like it's peeking up behind a... Um, behind one of the hexagons. There we go. <laughs> and I need sequins. I like these um, Ocean of Teal ones. And I'm just going to take like that many out. And enamel dots. I'm going to do this dark green kind of well, why not mix the dark green and this orange and this olive green here. And here and a little tiny orange one right there. Okay, and bling. I have my, I love this multicolored batch of bling. I, I, I'll determine where to put the sequins once I figure where the other small embellishments are going to go. I'll do that bling there, and I think I'll do the sequins over in here. And who knows, maybe I will break up this, and I'm gonna have a hard time figuring out what's glue and what's um, white splatters, right? I think that's glue. Glue right there. Ah, uh, <laughs> let me pull those sequins back and get a few more out here. Uh, 
Okay. That may be enough. I've got this little tiny one that can go here. This one can go there. Here. there and now I can put something right there to get rid of that big blot okay I think I'm gonna call this done because I've started liking the way it looks um, as it is and I don't really want to add a whole lot more to it. Now I need to go hunt for the picture and we'll see where it goes from there. So thank you for watching. And yes, I know that I don't have anything on here or here. And they that kind of means they're open. Let me look for some small stickers. Um, this last sticker sheet has some small stickers that can um, can kind of fill in some of those spots. Like right here, I thought we needed something else on this, this guy, and I need... Um, you know what, I think I'm gonna change the color of that. And I'm gonna put that one maybe somewhere else, like maybe right there. And I'll put the navy blue one here. Okay, and I've got this little guy that says travel notes. And I think I thought I could use something maybe down here in conjunction with the globe. So that, that kind of seals the deal that this is gonna be a travel page, which with the kit, that I had, I kind of knew that. Um, and I, like I said, I have certainly have lots of uh, travel photos, but I can kind of put that right there. And then maybe I can find a small, um, here's a small sticker that can kind of go under there. And now I'm gonna look at this, look at this with a map on it. And that could maybe go right there. And that is a circle cut from the um, the underside of the blue uh, paper that had all those little circle circle maps. Now I really like this because it has the um, hexagon or honeycomb kind of pattern. Part of it, and it could maybe go, it would actually be kind of cool right there. Let's, let's use it. I'll scoop these guys up, and I'll put them someplace else, and I'll let this guy go right there. And these 
these can kind of surround it. There. There's kind of glue on both sides of these now, and that's okay because it will dry clear. I'm just gonna put that right up there. Okay, and I, like I said, I think I'm done. <laughs> like I said a while ago, I think I'm done. Now I will allow a little bit of white splatter to go over the embellishments. I may kind of like that actually and let a little go there. It doesn't matter if it gets on here because that's going to get covered up by the photo. Okay, I'm done. Now I'm done. <laughs> I really am done. Thank you for watching. I will see you next Monday for another, um, uh, the last, I guess, monthly Scrap Backwards um, uh, video f with this month's kit. Uh, it's supposedly the last. It never is for either me or Adam, actually. And um, I'll see you tomorrow for... Uh, Stash Dive Tuesday. So, bye.